Hey, people. Show my show my from ABD here. I have a confession to make. I'm not actually show my Shomali from ABD. I know. I'm actually show my show my the PNG YouTuber, baby. Anyways, since I pretend to know stuff about video games, I get a lot of interesting comments like, Shomai, where's your brother Shanghai? If I had friends, I would play this game. I busted twice to this. But one comment stood out from the rest. It was from Trashington1415. I was excited to watch this video because I expected a variety of fun Roblox games. But these are all just flashy fighting games. Flashy fighting games, you gotta be kidding me, right? Combat initiation. Hours. Fighting. I used my robot in the right purpose! <laughs> fighting is literally called fighting. Trashington1415, I like fighting games and I'm not gonna stop glazing them, I'm sorry. But fine, since it's my job to recommend you banger Roblox videos and banger Whoa. games, <laughs> I'm gonna have to show you one of the most promising Roblox games that I have ever played. Stars Align. This game may look like a cozy Roblox game, but it makes me want to kill myself. Stars Align is a Roblox adventure game made by Team Nova, and it has been in development for more than four years. What was I doing four years ago? Making Roblox JoJo content. After a very long series of rocky roads for development, they have finally released a demo for everyone to play. And it looks beautiful. Just from playing this demo, you can tell the devs were ambitious, putting in the effort needed to make this game to what it is today. Skybox is changing for each level, the gay coded character design, this clean Genshin Impact UI. Oh my god! Watch this little guy's idle animation. Watch, he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Yeah! Stars Align follows the format of a collectathon where we have to acquire a certain amount of stars to progress. There's five difficulty levels. We have easy, normal, medium, hard, and these two Boy, cancerous sections bad. that I don't want to talk about. Yeah. Each one of them has different teams, like in this one, where you're in a floating castle. The spawn point in this level is at the very bottom, so you have to work your way up to the top, evading different obstacles that you have to face to reach the very star at the end. Took me quite a while to finish that. <laughs> Compare every Roblox game to Stars Align. It stands out, doesn't it? There are so many little details that they've added here. A sound effect playing when you're zooming in. The game blurs out when you're alt-tabbing. The little animation for the UI. Do you know why I love this game? It's because of the stylization. You know how Roblox has been pushing for realistic games, having the 4K Ultra HD realistic graphics, and then you encounter a Roblox avatar and they look so out of place. Roblox is supposed to be cartoonish. It's a kid's game. It's not meant to look realistic. That's why when you slap on a realistic face on the avatar, it looks like shit. There has been a recent trend with public UGCs where everyone can customize everything. This was a good idea, but with a player base filled with these type of people, I don't think so. I don't know, man. It seems kind of gay to me. I don't know. There was a reason why Roblox took control of its cosmetics. Because it had its own style. The only thing that's holding Roblox's identity now is gone. Round of applause in the HQ everybody. Oh my god. Round of applause. Oh my god. When we look at Stars Align, it's expressive and memorable. It takes us into the world they've created. Fighting also uses stylization for their characters and it looks amazing. But I'm only worried about one thing. Stars Align won't get any players. Making a popular Roblox game is a difficult thing to achieve. You have to make sure your game stands out but simple enough for kids to understand. You need a reason for your players to keep coming back to have a consistent player base. The Roblox recommendation system only favors games with people that are constantly playing. So if you don't follow these rules, your game is pretty much fucked. Mono Bear did an amazing job covering this topic, so you should check his video out. Mediocre games overshadowing the good ones. 
That's why I'm worried for Stars Align. It doesn't follow these set rules. 4 years of development amounting to 600,000 visits. A game that breaks Roblox's boundaries can go into obscurity. But they don't seem to care. Stars Align knows what it wants to be. There are games like this that are ambitious, not giving a damn about the algorithm, doing whatever the hell they want with their creations. I got into contact with the project lead of Stars Align, Scarlet Fun, and I asked them a few questions. What was your main inspiration for making this game happen? I think everyone on the team has different reasons for wanting to make the game, but for me, personally, I was frustrated with the games on Roblox being so low quality and shoddily put together. And for years now, I've tried to create something of substance. I feel like I've finally hit that point with this project, and people seem to love it, so I'm happy to keep making it. I'm gonna go on a side tangent here. I have never played a platformer game. <laughs> I never gave them a chance because I thought they weren't manly enough for me to play. I was used to playing the hardcore FPS shooters. Remember, no Russian. But thankfully, my therapist introduced me to one of them. She gifted me this game called A Hat in Time. I guess she wanted me to try it out because I never got to afford buying games for myself. I've always been used to playing free-to-play games and Roblox has always been one of them. So I stepped out of my comfort zone and tried it out. The game is filled with wonder, so much to do, so much to explore. Playing for the first time felt so amazing. The movements are fluid, it's challenging, everything looks nice, every stage is different. A spooky mansion, scenic mountaintops, a murder mystery train which was very hard to beat by the way. I should have played this game back in 2016, 5 out of 5. Maybe the solution to Roblox being so b b boring and dry is to quit playing it. Just think about it. Look at me, I'm having this much fun. Just think, just think. So I asked Scarlett if one of their inspirations was a hat in time, and she said yes. You can clearly tell they were inspired by these games. They want the people on Roblox to know how it feels to play platformers, expressing their love for them. They're doing us a favor by making platformers accessible to everyone, since they're a bit pricey. So I'm looking forward to the full release of Stars Align. These developers are making something unique for once, not following the set rules and risking everything in the process. The Roblox recommendation system is so horrendous that if you want to have a successful game, you need to center it around an anime. But Stars Align says F that we're making a Roblox platformer game that is full of charm and personality, a fully expansive game that will show Roblox what it is truly capable of. So I'm giving Stars Align a Mario Galaxy out of 5. I'm not letting you waste your time on these awful Roblox games. It is up to me and you to change Roblox and make it a better place for everybody. We can't let these degenerates change Roblox with their nasty UGCs or these anime games that make gambling addicts. We make Roblox. We're the ones that shape it. Some games have already proved that we can make something beautiful. Roblox's motto is powering imagination. The only thing it's powering right now are these nuts, baby! Got it!
Hmm, what a lovely day in the shop. 